The lure of Scotland's Hebrides is splendid isolation. But in a global pandemic, this is no place for an idyllic retreat. The advice is to not make any unnecessary journeys to the Western Isles. And so we've asked the community to tell their own story, allowing us to stay here on the mainland. On Barra, having a beach for a runway makes medical evacuations harder. The school and the village hall have been converted to makeshift COVID hospitals. The island doctor has to use the resources available. What are the challenges from a doctor's perspective on an island in the Hebrides right now? Even at the best of times, getting medicines here is, can be quite weather dependent. And so if you suddenly had a, a huge influx of people requiring that sort of assistance, then you could see that we'd be stretched very thin, very quickly. On the neighbouring Isle of Col, population 220, there are more cows than people and just the one shop. But having everyone come in for supplies could be a hot spot for infection, so the community has adapted. Items on the shelf are posted on Facebook, shopping lists are emailed in, and shopkeepers Doogie and Paula make the orders up. Packet of new roll. That quilted or super quilted. <laughs> then, during his downtime, the island's postman delivers the shopping door to door. This is island innovation for isolation. Cheers. Bye. There's people bringing down sandwiches, they've been bringing down soup, scones and stuff to keep us going, especially on our busy days. Life here appears removed from a global pandemic, but it's home to an international charity with 200 volunteers in 19 countries. Yeah, it's Ailey from Project Trust. From their island in lockdown, they just organised the repatriation of them all. It's a massive um, logistical um, challenge. Um, but everyone really pulled together and so it's quite a testament to such a small organisation to pull off such a mammoth task. Coronavirus has already hit tourism. These waters should be filled with yachts and ferries, but the sound of mull is quiet. Guest houses are asking people to stay away for now. It feels really quite empty um, around the place, but... We will be here when all this is all over, all of us. These are communities where looking out for neighbours isn't a novelty and being resourceful is a way of life. In the months ahead, that Hebridean resilience could make all the difference. Peter Smith, News at 10, Argyle.